Good morning, everyone. I'm Miss Sarah, and I'll be doing story time for you this morning. Just a quick couple of announcements before we get started. Be sure to grab something that will work as a scarf for our closing song, Dancing Scarf Blues. Grab a washcloth, dish towel, tissue, handkerchief, something that your kiddo can use. A reminder that this is somehow the last week of July, the last week of summer reading, so you can come in to do your completion. Call us and we can do it over the phone, or you can do it online yourself and select to pick up your prizes curbside, whatever works for y'all. We're flexible. I will be taking a break from online story times for the month of August, but be coming back strong with online story times in September. I have some fun ideas, so look forward to seeing you then. Let's get started with our opening song. This is B-I-N-G-O by The Wiggles. Hey, that sounds like Bingo the Barking Dog. Hey, Bingo! There was a farmer had a dog and Bingo was his name Oh, B-I-N-G-O, B-I-N-G-O, B-I-N-G-O. Bingo and Bingo was his name oh. Now this time when we spell Bingo, clap your hands. Ready to clap? This is going to be fun. <laughs> there was a farmer had a dog and Bingo was his name oh. B-I-N-G-O, B-I-N-G-O, B-I-N-G-O and Bingo was his name oh. Let's do it again. What do you think, Bingo? Okay, let's do this. There was a farmer had a dog and Bingo was his name oh. B-I-N-G-O, 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 when Bingo was his name oh. Good job. Oh, that was great clapping. Thanks, Bingo. Good job. Thank you for joining me with that song today. So let's take these letters down and figure out our theme for today. Ooh, there goes that. Okay. So, can you tell me what this picture shows? Mm-hmm. It's an umbrella. And this, mm-hmm, it's a flag, but it's a United States of America flag. And this, it's a unicorn! <laughs> okay. So can you tell what's going on in this picture? Yeah, this is a hard one. Mm -hmm. That birdhouse is under construction. Ooh, do you know this musical instrument? It looks like a guitar, but it's a ukulele for this purpose. Can you guess our letter of the day yet? Does it look like anything? Yeah, kind of like a J, but I have a couple more pieces. What's this? <laughs> mm-hmm, underpants. And this arrow is pointing up. You're right. Good job. So, does our letter look a little more complete now? Yeah. Can you guess what letter it is? The letter U. You're right, because we're going to talk about underpants today. Fun, right? So, before we get started with books, we're going to get our finger pencils out, and we're going to make the letter U. So, you can see we have a straight line down, swoop over, and then a straight line up and off. So let's get our finger pencils out and give this a try. So, we start up here at the top. Straight line down, shoop over, up, and off. Just like that, the letter U. Let's do it one more time. So up here at the top, straight line down, curve, and then straight up and off. Just like that, the letter U. Good job. Okay, so our first book is I Say Ooh, You Say Ah by John Kane. Believe it or not, this was a nominee for the Missouri Building Block Award. I'm kind of surprised that it didn't rank higher, personally, because I think it's pretty awesome. This is an interactive book, so yeah, when I say ooh, you say ah. There's something very simple that I need you to remember. When I say ooh, you say ah as loudly as you can. Are you ready? 
Ooh. Ah. I can't hear you. Ah. Ooh. Ah. Once more, even louder. Ooh. Good job, that's it. Now, if you see the color red, pat your head. Ooh, 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 ooh. So you say, ah, 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 ah. <laughs> Stop hitting your head, it sounds like it hurts. Okay, there's one more thing. When you see an ant, you say, underpants. What do you see? Underpants. I beg your pardon, that's a bit rude. Uh-oh, what do we see? Underpants. underpants! Underpants, underpants, underpants! Now you're just being silly. Well, I need you to be nice because I'd like you to meet my friend. You ready to be nice? Okay, let's do this. This is my donkey. He says, hello. Uh-uh. His name is Ooh. Ah, uh, ah. Uh. What are you doing? You frightened Ooh. Ah. Uh. Oh no, he's running away. Now he's hiding from you. What's that on his nose? Underpants. <laughs> Donkeys don't wear underpants. <laughs> At least, I don't think they do. Look, he's coming back, but he seems a little sad. I think we should speak really quietly so we don't scare him again. Could you do that? Okay. Don't forget the whisper. Is everything okay, Ooh? Uh, he still looks sad. I think he's lost something. What do you think he's lost? Underpants. underpants. You're being silly again. I've already told you. Donkeys don't wear underpants. What else could he have lost? Underpants, underpants, underpants. Okay, okay, okay. You actually think donkeys do wear underpants? So where do you think they are? They're on your head? I can't see them. Maybe we should look somewhere else while you're looking. Here's something else to remember. If you see a cloud, say your name out loud. Okay, you ready for this? <gasps> Megan! Sarah! That's a lovely name. Ooh, says he's pleased to meet you. Ah, ah. But he still can't find his underpants. Now where could they be? That's it, ooh. Let's get to the bottom of this. Ah, oh, ah. Yay, he's found them. I think he deserves a round of applause. Hang on. He tells me they're not his. So who do they belong to? Maggie. Yep, say your name. Megan. Sarah. They're your underpants? You wear pink frilly underpants with yellow spots. He actually thinks they look good on him. Ooh. Ah. Okay, there's one last thing I want you to do. Every time I turn a page, you must wave. Bye-bye, ooh. Aw, it looks like donkeys really do wear underpants, but only on their heads. <gasps> Say your name. Maggie. Megan. And? Underpants. underpants. Yes, I know you said they're your underpants, but now they belong to Ooh. Aw. You can stop waving now. He's gone. <laughs> the end. Thank you for reading that one with me. That was fun. Okay, so let's take down our letter U for underpants because I brought a felt story with me today featuring a bear. Mm -hmm. And this is bear in underpants. What color should he wear? So Monday is a fun day. His undies are, what color is this? Red. That's right. Now Tuesday is a blue day. So, he wears his undies on his head. <laughs> yeah, it's silly. Wednesday, undies bear is wearing green. green. That's right. And Thursday undies, well, 
His, what color are these? Purple. purple. His purple ones are clean. And then Friday undies, well, they are, what color is the sun? Yellow. 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 They are yellow like the sun. And then Saturday undies, well, what color is this? Orange. Orange is number one. So Sunday undies are blue, red, and white. Good job. So red, blue, green, purple, yellow, orange, whatever the color, undies are dynamite. Okay. Thank you for doing those colors with me. I appreciate that. So we have one more book about underpants that I think you'll enjoy. It is entitled Pirates Love Underpants by Claire Friedman and Ben Court. These pirates so love underpants. They're on a special quest to find the fabled pants of gold for the captain's treasure chest. Can you see how much they love underpants? Yeah. yeah, they're everywhere. Anchors away, the captain cries. Hoist up Black Bloomer's sail. Unfurl the secret treasure map. Pants pirates never fail. Mm -hmm. Black Bloomer bobs upon the waves. The captain shouts, hooray, sharks and fancy underpants. We found Big Knickers Bay. Pirates grab their shiny swords and row their boats to shore. Yikes, me hearties, what's this? Someone's been here before. Can you see the footprints? Mm-hmm. The footprints lead through shifting dunes across the three pants ridge. Snap, 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 snarl the hungry crocs beneath Long John Bridge. There are the crocodiles. Ooh, scary. The pirates wade through gurgling swamps, through caves as black as night. They trek through prickly undergrowth, then oh, what a sight. What do you think they see? Snakes, snakes, <gasps> We're here too late, the pirates gasp. Another pirate crew. They found the golden underpants. What are we going to do? Hmm. The captain has a cunning plan. It's clever. It's fantastic. Grab their fancy underpants and <gasps> cut through the elastic. As the rival pirates sleep, they snip around on tiptoe, but help the pirate parrot, the captain's parrot squawks and wakes them up. Oh no! Grab those pants, the captain roars. They're after us. Arr! But with their pants around their feet, they don't get very far. Yo ho ho, the pirates dance. Fine treasure fills our hold. But what's the booty we love best? Glittering pants of gold. <laughs> so when you pitch your pants on, check the elastic is in place. Or like those silly pirates found, you'll have a bright red face. The end. Okay, let's do our closing song, our dancing scarf blues. And this is by Carol Peterson. We have some other music by her in our collection, so be sure to check out her CD. She has some awesome stuff. Put your scarf to the side, then back the other way. Keep your scarf a moving now, you can sway. You got the blues, you got the dancing scarf blues. Yeah, just keep your scarf a moving. You got the dancing scarf blues. Put your scarf to the front. And then to the back Careful, keep it moving Don't you give me no flag You got the blues You got the dancing scarf blues Yeah Just keep your scarf from moving You got the dancing scarf blues Twirl your scarf around your head Around your hips Around to then free it's called the dancing scarf blues. Then jump up and down and up and down and up and down. Freeze! Don't move a muscle, I'm watching you. Shake your
your scarf way up high, then shake it down low. Shake up and down and up and down, look at you go. You got the blues, you got the dancing scarf blues, yeah. Just keep your scarf from moving, you got the dancing scarf blues. <laughs> Y'all in September.